Hey everyone, welcome back to our website speed optimization series. In today's video, we're diving into two powerful tools that can seriously boost your WordPress website's performance. And that's W3 Total Cache and Cloudflare. These are two of my go-to recommendations for anyone looking to speed up their website. And I'll walk you through exactly how and why they work so well together. But before we dive in, let's quickly break down a couple of key concepts you need to understand. The first one is caching. Caching is like taking a snapshot of a page on your website and showing that to your visitors instead of rebuilding the entire page every time someone loads it. This reduces the amount of work your server has to do and makes your site load much faster. It's especially useful for pages that don't change that often, since the same version can be reused again and again. The other concept you'll need to be familiar with is called Content Delivery Network, or CDN for short. A CDN is a global network of servers that delivers your website content from the server closest to the visitor. It's like having multiple mini versions of your website spread around the world so that users, users get faster load times no matter where they are. Okay, so let's dive right in. Uh, the first thing you will need to do is install W3 Total Cache and you'll need to log in to your dashboard, your WordPress dashboard. I already have logged in. So the next thing I'll need to do is go to the plugins menu and click on add plugin. And then in the search field, I'm going to just type in W3 Total Cache. And it should be the first one that shows up and then just click on install now. It may take a little while to install. Still installing. Okay, it's taking longer than expected, but let's see. Okay, there you go. And then click on activate. Okay, so you should now see a performance menu right here at the top and also one here on the left menu. So the next thing we're going to want to do is configure W3 Total Cache. And the good thing with W3 Total Cache, it provides like um, a setup guide or wizard. And to access that, just go to settings. Okay, and the first thing you will be presented with is the welcome screen. Um, just if you want to accept the um, sending data over to W3.cache, you can accept it. I'll just go ahead and decline. All right. Then you can just go ahead and click on next on the welcome screen. So the first thing you're going to have to do is figure out which page caching option to use. So to do that, just click on the test page cache button here. And you'll be given a list of storage engine options to choose from. Um, just choose the one that is recommended, which is the fastest one. So click on disk enhanced and then click next. And we're going to do the same thing for the database cache, test database cache. And I'm going to choose this one, which is recommended here and click next. Now for the object cache, we're going to test it. However, we are not going to enable what W3 Total Cache recommends, which is the disk here. The reason is object cache, if you do enable it, uh, from my experience, it tends to cause more headaches than is worth enabling it. So just leave the default selected, none, and click next. So we're going to test the browser cache and just make sure this is enabled 
and then click on next. Um, we are not going to do any image optimization because in a previous tutorial, we have already enabled EWWW image optimizer. So just let's, let, let's allow e, you to um, optimize the images. So we'll skip that. We're going to skip lazy load because again, this tends to cause more problems than is worth the benefits that you would gain for this. So just click on next. And that is it. You can just click on go to dashboard. Okay. So we are all done. So the next thing we're going to do is now sign up for Cloudflare. Okay, so now we're on the Cloudflare website and we are going to sign up for an account and add our domain name there. So if you already had a, an account set up with the Cloudflare, you would just log in. But let's say we're starting from scratch. Um, so you're going to need to sign up for an account. So we just go to the home page for Cloudflare and then you see this start for free button over here. Just click on it. Okay, it's taking some time to load up here. Let me just do a refresh. Okay. Um, and then, so you will be presented with a couple of options. You can either si sign up by you by logging into your Google account, or if you're on a Mac, just log into your Apple account. But I would recommend you log in, you register with your email and password. The reason being is that Cloudflare uses passwords to activate features like you getting the API key for your domain name. So just use the email and password option. So let me just go ahead and enter my email. And my password. then click on verify domain name and then just click on sign up. Okay. So at this step, you're just going to have to enter in your domain name, um, one that you've already registered. So let me just enter in my domain name here and then click on continue. Okay, so you will be redirected to um, like a welcome screen where it's going to ask you to scan for DNS records. So just go ahead and scan for those. So click on continue. And then you will go ahead and select the free plan. Um, you're not going to uh, be paying for any of the plans. So just select on the free plan, click on select plan. Okay. So you may ask you to scan for the DNS records. So this is going to scan what is currently in your domain registrar. Just confirm that you, your records are correct. Um, and then just go ahead and click on the continue to activation button right here. Okay. So you're all done. And then Cloudflare is going to give you like a set of instructions that you're going to need to go through to change, um, the name servers on your domain registrar. So I'm not going to go through that uh, because it's going to depend on which domain registrar you have. Um, but one thing I would caution you to do uh, is if you're not comfortable making the changes on your domain registrar, uh, just feel free to get in touch with your domain registrar uh, or your web host, uh, whether it's something like GoDaddy or Namecheap, just get in touch with them and let them know you would like to change the name servers uh, for your domain name. 
and they will be they should be able to assist you in getting that changed all right so just go ahead and click on continue now it may take anywhere from for less than five minutes to up to 24 hours for the process to complete once you make the change and then uh, Cloudflare should notify you by email once the change has been made. So just make sure you watch out for the email and confirm that um, your domain name is active within your account. So once that is done and activated, there are a couple other configurations that you will need to do. So this one is the SSL, the TLS for the SSL certificate. And the other thing is caching. So let's do the SSL first. The first thing you will need to do is go to SSL and then make sure you select the full strict option. All right, so you're switching to SSL mode from full to full strict. I show you want to make that change, click on confirm. Okay, so we should be good there. And then the other thing you're going to have to do is change the caching. Why we want to change the caching is because W3 Total Cache is handling your caching. So we need to make sure that Cloudflare respects the fact that W3 Total Cache is handling your caching. So to do that, go to the caching menu and then go to configuration. All right. And the only thing you're going to have to change is the browser cache TTL. Um, I believe that's it. Yep, this one. Then you see it's by default, it's selected as four hours. Just change that to respect existing headers. Okay. And that's it. We are all done with Cloudflare. And just remember, to make sure you see here it shows up as invalid name servers that's because i haven't yet changed the name servers just make sure that before you make any changes back on your wordpress website that your website is active uh, in cloudflare and you should receive an email notifying you that um, the website is active and just make sure also that your name servers have been changed before switching back to your wordpress and making the change to point to Cloudflare. Okay, so let's go back to your website and make the connection from W3 Total Cash to Cloudflare. Okay, so let's get uh, W3 Total Cash connected to Cloudflare. Um, to do that, you're going to have to first activate the extension for Cloudflare. So go to the performance menu and then click on extensions. And then just scroll until you get this Cloudflare section over here and just click on activate. Okay. Once the Cloudflare extension is activated, just click on settings. And the thing we're going to need to do is add in the API key from Cloudflare. To do that, uh, just click on this reauthorize button over here and then enter the email that you use to sign up for um, for the Cloudflare account. So let me just type that in. And then for the API key, the API token or the global key, um, you're going to have to lo lo go back to your Cloudflare dashboard so let's just switch over there and then in the you will have to go to the account menu click on profile and then this menu over here called api tokens click on that and then click on view for the global api key so click on view that you now you notice that you have to enter your password so uh, that's why earlier on I mentioned that you would have to register your account with an email and password and also make sure you, that you remember to verify your email once you register the account. So you should receive an email asking you to verify the account. So 
uh, once that is done, um, just enter your password for your account. And then click on verify your human, then click on view. Okay, so here's my API key. So I'm just going to click on click to copy. And then I'm going to switch back over here and paste it in and then click next. And you'll notice that the domain name that we entered previously in the Cloudflare should show up. So just select it and then click on next. And that's it. So now um, W3 Total Cash is connected to Cloudflare. And um, you should now have um, a website that is optimized for speed. Um, so hope you benefited from this. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, otherwise, look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.